Hi guys, welcome back to the Department of Filtration. Today I've got an interesting one. One, it's a Cooper's Fiam filters, which here in Australia I've never seen or heard of or anything before. Actually found this at an old like a few others in an old independent auto parts store. It's been sitting there for a while. The date code on it is for 05. It's been there 17 years. So I'm very interested to see what this is like. It's got a cool parts box. Stuff on the front. So I'd say... WCO31 oil filter made in EU. I'm assuming these might be cross reference numbers because that Z831 would be a likely number, I reckon. Just seems a little bit strange given it's not an Australian thing. Made in eight years, all right. Fairly big filter. The date code on the bottom, which is very hard to see on camera. But definitely, oh yeah, you can see it's definitely is it's O five at the end. And Cooper's fine. Instructions in a few languages. Yeah. So I got a big, nice and thick gasket on the top. Now the all locating tabs on there. Pretty thick and still pretty pliable for the age of it, which looks nice. Got our eighth inlet there. Gonna cut open and see what we got. Oh yeah, guys, we gotta cut open. And have a look. So just over there for a sec because we've got some interesting things going on. Yeah, base plate. Maybe about three threads there, so that's not great, especially for the size of the filter, but that's alright. We've got our eight inlet holes. I would say they're reasonably small for the filter size, but it could possibly just be the design of it. It looks, it's got a fair bit of edge here, sort of a bit like a Z9. It's got a lot of, lot of space. In terms of overall thickness, it's not too bad. And the gasket's nice. Now, we got where it becomes very interesting, something unexpected. Let me show you the any drain back valve. Now I'm not sure because I've never seen one of these filters or a oil filter or one of a Volkswagen or Volvo. Whether this is OEM spec or whether it's this filter, but it's a bit strange. Um, so for any drain back valve, I've got this very thin, most paper thin. If you can get it to focus for you. There we go, a little bit of rubber. Now I'll get a measurement on that for you so you can see how thin it is. We're only looking at it. 
you know, 0.7, 0.8 of a mil thickness. So very thin right here. And yes, very nicely over that hole, very snug fit. And then covers up those holes all the way around. Now you're telling me, even just with that there, you can see they're hanging down and you're like, Mr. Department, that's not going to do a very good job as a valve. But I've got this fancy jigger on top of the element, a little coil spring, the retainers to stop it going too far. I'm assuming now. Yeah, so the little nipple sits inside that hole. So our this part of the plate is going to be hard up against that. And so that will seal. You can see where it's there's a little line where it has been sealed nicely around there. And now oil spring so that's how it seals the top and then our little spring holds that valve closed against the holes that will allow it to go down when the oil is flowing through but then create a nice spring loaded seal again against against the holes when the engine's not running anymore. Let's see if I can do a bit of demonstration with and the calipers here. Push that down. Very nice little mechanical valve there. Just for you guys who haven't haven't if you haven't seen any videos before, if you're not quite sure with how an oil filter normally works, this is a normal sort of base plate with a bypass valve. It's just a bit of fairly thicker rubber and it just sits up against there like that. And all it does is it's hold its own shape so when it's pressed up it seals, oil pushes and then it flicks back up to stop so it's all just rubberized but in this it's very mechanical indeed the spring very interesting design now I have seen this design once before a little bit different though the any drawing back on the genuine Toyota filters for Toyota 2H diesel engines has a similar very thin little valve but instead of this fancy coil spring and plate it's got uh, more of a leaf spring type of thing that sits underneath there and helps pick up the valve to seal it. So it is a very interesting design indeed, and to be honest, I quite like that. I wonder whether these filters get mounted um, upside down or not, and whether it's important that it has good any drain back valve because that's a bit of effort and a little bit of money would go into that in each filter compared to just a... so there is that. I've got a hefty big coil spring there, which is nice. Fits and locates very snug in the bottom. Yes. And the rest of our canister, got our metal end caps, little spring loader bypass with a rubber, it looks like another thin rubber seal on there too. It's quite Oh, pressure but still works it just looks like fairly standard cellulose it 
metal crimp seam. It's looking to be pretty high quality so far. I'm interested to we'll get that media cut out now and have a look at the rest of it. Alright, so we've got the media cut out and it's about 2.6 metres long. And 92 mil wide. We'll have a look at it under the microscope just now. Okay, so that's the media, and there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it, just your very atypical cellulose. Certainly nothing special about that, but I'll take a look at the center cube to you. We've got lots and lots of holes, and this ribbed piece to give it some strength. I think it's quite thick metal too. Very, this is a very heavy made filter, which is quite nice. Um, and our glue, there appears to be plenty of it holding it together. So, Overall, oh, it actually seems to be quite a good filter. I haven't seen any any issues here, even issues pertaining to it just being old. No, we didn't even measure the king. Yeah. About 0.6, so it's, it's quite a thick, decent can too. Decent can. The base plate's a little bit average, but there's certainly nothing wrong with it. Big hefty coil spring. Very interesting design. And drain back valve. I quite like it actually. I think it's nice. Very nice, heavy duty components. So these all in all, pretty nice filter actually. It's just standard cellulose so it's not going to do the best filtration job it'd be better if it was synthetic but in terms of its base components it's quite nice actually so that's the cooper's fyam wco31 filter